Oh man. He knows the win. Hey, he knows he the finish line, doesn't he? He knows. He knows how to win, and he wins. It's nope. unbelievable. Uh, going down the lane, was there any doubt in your mind? No, I tell you, there was a lot of doubt going in my mind uh, going to the half. But uh, w once we started down the lane, why there was no doubt in my mind he's gonna he's gonna win. Uh, how about the fractions? They went your way or? Uh... I had no idea the fractions they were going. I just know that the horse is good and he's gonna do his best and reach. But I I was hoping to follow Bussy, but then he got in the two hole, and I ended up giving Dale a hole going to the quarter. Then I thought, well, I'll follow Bussy. And then when he got in the two hole, I, I didn't know. But I tell you, he knows how to win, and he's tough. He sure does. Setting the fractions, but settling for second, number six, Pirate Dan and driver Dave McGee. In the last turn, I thought I had uh, had things pretty well under control. Yeah. Colt felt strong, and uh, Ghost Sox was struggling to keep up a little bit, but he kind of loafs and uh, had enough left to get by me. And finishing third, number seven, Arborator and driver Doug Larson. What luck on the rain? How did it affect the race for you? Well, I don't know if the rain had anything to do with it, but the pace sure did with everybody out rolling along trying to get trying to get going. You know, everybody wanted to flush Laverne out and force him a little bit. And uh, I got brought up real good, Turner, for home. I, I had a lot of pace. Time for that winning mile, 155 flat, a 3-6 perfecta combination returns $20.40, 3 6, 7 on the try, 495 80